Although the common door's appearance might make you think they were developed to mop floors, this pooch has a long and noble heritage as a flock guarding dog breed in their native Hungary. They still retain a strong protective instinct and will defend their family and property with their life. In Hungarian, the plural form of common door is common dorok. Although this is a purebred dog, you may still find them in shelters and rescue groups, so remember to adopt. Affectionate with their families, these dogs are intelligent and eager to please. Because they're so protective, they can make decent watchdogs and will bark if anything is amiss. They aren't, however, well suited for apartment life and prefer to have lots of room to run and burn off energy. For a larger home in need of a loving guardian, this may be the dog for the job. The typical Commodore male stands 27.5 inches tall at the shoulder and weighs about 100 pounds, while the female is 25.5 inches tall and weighs about 80 pounds. However, many dogs can be smaller or larger than average. Commodore puppies take a long time to reach maturity, generally 3 years or so, but when they do, they have a calm, devoted personality. They're intelligent, independent and fiercely protective, willing to rise to the challenge of defending home and family. Commodore are wary of strangers and can be aggressive towards other dogs. These traits, plus their large size, makes them a bad match for first-time and timid owners. Commodores need early and extensive socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young. Enrolling your Commodore puppy in a kindergarten class is a great start. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. Commodore are generally healthy, but like all breeds are prone to certain health conditions. While not all Commodore will get any or all of these diseases, it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. When young, this intelligent breed is surprisingly easy to train. That ease is often short-lived hour and turns into frustration when the apt pupil grows into a stubborn student. Commodore are independent as well as smart. The key to training a Commodore is not force or repetition, but making training fun for both the owner and the dog. The Commodore's ability to think for themselves will lead them to decide that some commands are worth learning, some aren't even worth repeating, and some are okay only once in a while. They can become bored very easily, so make each training session different. Commodores have moderate exercise needs and are satisfied with two or three short walks daily or playtime in the yard. They need a security fence area to help them define their territory and, because they're so protective, to prevent other people and animals from entering that territory. Brush your Commodore's teeth at least two to three times a week to remove tartar buildup and the accompanying bacteria. How much your doll doggy depends on its size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Dogs are individuals, and just like people, they don't all need the same amount of food. It almost goes without saying that a highly active dog will need more than a couch potato dog. The quality of the dog food you buy also makes a huge difference. The better the dog food, the further it will go towards nourishing your dog, and the less of it you'll need to shake into your dog's bowl. When it comes to coat and grooming, the Commodore has a wonderfully unique coat. During puppyhood, they have soft curls that grow heavy as they mature, developing into long, felt-like cords that resemble the strands of a mop. The undercoat is soft and wooly, and the top coat coarse. Puppies have a cream or buff shading to their coat, but this color fades to white as they grow up. The common door coat doesn't need brushing, but it's definitely not maintenance-free. When the cords begin forming at 8 to 12 months of age, a process in which the soft undercoat is trapped by the top coat is essential to keep the hair clean and dry so it doesn't get dirty in this color. The cords may not completely form until the dog is 2 years old. Commodore can be very good companions to children in their own family, but may have difficulty accepting visiting children. They're best suited to homes with older children who understand how to interact with dogs. Always supervise Commodore when they're with children and never leave them alone with young children. They're livestock guardians, not babysitters. Even when exposed to them often, Commodore are generally not fond of other dogs. They do best in single dog homes, but can learn to get along well with cats. They're always pleased to have livestock to guard. That is, after all, their purpose in life. Alright guys, what do you think about the Commodore? Tell me down in the comments.